the first cities introduction in the history of human civilization by 8000 bce many people had settled in small villages and were cultivating crops and domesticating animals now people no longer spend time hunting and gathering food with proper agricultural tools surplus food was produced so people now started devoting more time to leisure writing was discovered trade and art grew and various discoveries led to a change in the living pattern of human beings gradually villages grew into towns towns into cities and first civilization took birth civilization the word civilization refers to a developed state of human society it refers to that stage in human evolution when they started thinking of not only satisfying their basic needs of food shelter and clothing but something more than that also some of the main features of a civilization are surplus food production specialization of crafts and occupation growth of trade in cities advancement in art literature and science existence of a machinery to central law and order religion with a broader outlook a welfare government the earliest civilizations that came up were distinctly progressive and modern as compared to neolithic settlements river valley civilizations most of the earlier civilizations developed around river valleys the reason was that the rivers provided everything which man needed for a settled life the rivers provided plenty of rich cultivable land for agriculture the water for irrigation was available in abundance thus people were able to produce much more food grains than their own requirements people had to work together for the management of water river and land as well gradually a highly organized society came into existence in these civilizations the settlement pattern of the harappan civilization one such civilization developed in india in the indus valley about 5000 years ago the earliest excavated city discovered in india was that of harappa on the banks of the river ravi at the same time another city was excavated the name of this city was mohenjodaro the city was situated on the banks of the river indus as both these cities were found in the indus valley now in pakistan it was called the indus valley civilization later on many more cities were found on the sites of harappa and mohenjodaro mohenjodaro and harappa were the two important cities that grew in the vicinity of the river indus the indus valley cities were fairly large in size it was estimated that the two main cities of harappa and mohenjodaro had a population of about 30000 each other cities like kalibangan rajasthan kopad punjab and lothal gujarat were also of the same size age of the harappan civilization it is generally believed that the harappan civilization started developing around 4600 bc and it reached its peak by 2600 bc it continued in that state till about 2000 bc thereafter it started to decline pioneers of discovery the credit of the discovery of harappa and mohenjodaro goes to dayaram sehni and r d banerji in 1921 dayaram sehni found a number of seals near the ruins of harappa how do we know about the harappan civilization the people of the harappan civilization have not left behind any written records only a few writings have been found on seals it has not been possible to decipher these writings so our knowledge is based only on the ruins of the cities pottery clay beads toys ornaments statues etc excavated from those regions these tell us a fascinating story about the lives of the people from these we know about the people's dresses living styles and their work the most important feature is the layout of their building unique architectural features from the remains discovered it is established that india had an advanced and progressive civilization in ancient times 
one of the most striking features of the Indus Valley civilization was the well-planned nature of its cities. Town planning. The city was generally divided into two sections. The upper town called the citadel and the lower town. The citadel was built on high platform. It had high walls which provided protection during floods. It was on the citadel that most public buildings such as granaries, town halls and the great bath of Mohenjo-daro were found and lower town was generally eastern part of the city. It was larger but lower than the citadel. The drainage system of Mohenjo-daro is very elaborate. House drains emptied themselves into the main drain. They were covered with bricks and stones and were provided with inspection traps and were inspected at regular intervals. The drainage system shows that the Indus Valley people were very particular about cleanliness and hygiene. The ruins of the cities of Harappan civilization display remarkable engineering and architectural skills. The cities were built according to a definite and well thought out plan. The people of the Indus Valley were provided with such comforts and facilities that many city dwellers in India do not have even today. The arrangements for water supply and drainage were far superior to those found in other ancient civilizations. The street cut each other at right angles. The cities had an excellent water supply system. A large number of wells have been discovered in the cities, citadel and granaries. The largest building found in Mohenjo-daro is the granary which is 45.71 meters long and 15.23 meters wide. The granaries were used for storing surplus grains. They lay very close to the river bank. The grains were brought in boats and stored in granaries. Another massive structure found at the citadel in Mohenjo-daro was the town hall in the citadel. To the east and lower town lay the rest of the city. There were furnaces where the metal like copper, tin, lead and bronze were melted. Houses In the cities, away from the citadel, there were platforms built for houses. Most of the houses were plain and uniform in plan, the rooms of each house were arranged around a courtyard. Most houses had a separate bathroom, a kitchen and a well. Many houses had flat roofs. The walls were thick and the staircase were solid, with no space underneath. Burnt bricks were used for making the houses. The Great Bath The most remarkable discovery of Mohenjo-daro is the Great Bath. This is found on the citadel in Mohenjo-daro that looks like a special rectangular tank. It resembles a large swimming pool. This tank was made waterproof by a 3 cm thick layer of bitumen, tar. This measures 11.88 meters in length, 7.01 meters in width and 2.43 meters deep. There were steps leading down to it from two sides. Also, there were rooms on all sides. They may have been used as changing rooms. The great bath was meant for ritual bathing, assembly or town hall. There was another building which looked like an assembly hall for the city government or for people to meet. A place like a building has also been discovered. Some people think it could have been the governor's house. Fire altars Some cities like Kalibangan and Lothal had fire altars. These were the places where sacrifices have been art and craft. The Indus Valley people had developed many art and craft works. Some of them are craft of image making and sculpture. Many statues and figurines have been found at various sites in the Indus Valley. These statues and figurines are of both animals and men. They clearly prove that these people had made great progress in the art of making sculpture. Among these statues, those of a young bull, a strong watchdog, a yogi wearing a shawl, a dancing girl with her hand on her hip and a dancer standing on his right leg while raising his left leg in front are worth noting. Craft of Jewelry Making The Harappan people were well trained in the craft of jewelry making. The jewellers produced wonderful jewellery of gold, silver, bronze and precious stones. Necklaces, fillets, armlets and finger rings 
were worn by both men and women, while girdles, earrings, and armlets were worn by women only. Craft of toy making. The discovery of a large number of toys and dolls show that Harappan people had attained perfection in craft of toy making. Their toys includes whistles, marbles, rattles, clay, carts, and animals whose limbs could be moved by pulling a string. Administrative system in the cities of the Indus Valley Civilization. The administrative system in the Indus Valley Civilization was quite advanced. The cities were perhaps administered by committees of people consisting of rich merchants and priests. These committees looked after different tasks such as regulation of trade, collection of taxes, maintenance of law and order, social divisions. The society was probably divided into three social groups the ruling class, the second class, and the third class. The ruling class consisted of the rich merchants and the priests. They lived in the citadel. The second class consisted of the petty merchants, artisans, and craftsmen. They lived in the lower town. The third class consisted of the labourers. They lived in small huts on the outskirts of the cities. Social life of people. Food. The main crops grown by them were wheat and barley. These were used for making bread. They were fond of milk, meat, fish, and eggs. Fruits like bananas and pomegranates were also eaten by the people. They also grew rice, pulses, peas, sesame, linseed, and mustard. Dress. Men and women wore clothes made of cotton and wool. The upper garment worn by men was a shawl. The lower garment was like a modern dhoti. Women wore a short skirt and a shawl. The discovery of clay spindles suggests that women spun yarn and stitched clothes at home. Spindle whorls made of terracotta and fiance have been found by the archaeologists. There were also indications that the growth of cotton about 7,000 years ago at Mehrgarh. Amusements Harappans amused themselves in several ways. Toys of clay such as carts, figures of animals, marbles, rattles, dolls and whistles have been found. They enjoyed singing and dancing. Economic life of people and their occupations The Harappan people were engaged in various occupations. Division of labour was prevalent. There were farmers, weavers, potters, jewellers, metal workers, toy makers, stone cutters, seal makers and traders. Beat and amulet making was an important occupation. The art of pottery had reached an advanced stage. Beautiful glazed pottery with different designs have been discovered at all the Indus Valley sites. Seals The seals are one of the most important discoveries of the civilization of Harappa. A large number of seals have been found during the excavations. They are flat and rectangular and made of terracotta. They had animal picture like signs. Probably, the seals were used by traders to stamp their goods. They inform us about the artistic skills, trade, ornaments, culture and scripts of the Harappan people. There were people who knew how to write and they were called the scribes. They helped in preparing the seals. Trade The Harappans carried on both internal and foreign trade. Foreign trade was carried on with the Mesopotamia, Iraq and Afghanistan. The overseas trade was carried on from the port city of Lothal, Gujarat, where a huge dockyard has been found. It shows that the Harappans were familiar with ships. Standard Weights and Measures 
for regulating trade and commerce, standard weights and measures were used. It is astonishing to learn that the weights and measures used by people were in multiples of 16, the way we had till 1957. Farming The Harappan cities were flooded regularly by River Indus and its tributaries, which deposited silt in the surrounding areas. This made the land fertile. So, agriculture became the chief occupation of the Indus Valley people. Wheat, barley, cotton, maize and millet were the chief crops. Rearing of cattle A variety of animals were kept as pets and domestic animals. They provided meat as well as milk. Asses and oxen were used for carrying loads. Cows, buffaloes and goats provided milk. Animal skins and hair were used for clothing. Weapons People used axes, daggers, maces and spears. The weapons were made of copper and bronze. No big forts have been discovered. The people of the Indus Valley were peace-loving. Religion The people of the Indus Valley worshipped many gods and goddesses. They were believed to bestow happiness, good health and prosperity. Pashupati was Lord Shiva with three heads. Trees and animals were worshipped. Among the birds, the dove was held in reverence. The dead were burnt and the ashes were immersed in water. People tree was regarded as sacred. The discovery of amulets suggests that they believed in ghosts and wore amulets to ward off evil spirits. Decline of the Harappan Civilization the Harappan civilization possibly ended around 1500 BC. Several different opinions have been put forward regarding its downfall. The Harappan cities might have been destroyed by natural disasters like earthquakes or floods. The Harappan cities could have been destroyed by the invaders who might have been Aryans. The river might have changed its course, turning the region into a desert. The decline of the Harappan civilization was a backward step in the history of India. The people who succeeded the Harappans had a rural background. There might have been an outbreak of an epidemic, such as plague, smallpox, which led to the decline and downfall of the civilization. It was the oldest known civilization in India. The social, political, and economic institutions developed by this civilization were unique. The Indus Valley civilization flourished for a thousand years between 2500 and 1500 BC.